Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be reviewing another small appliance. Um, I have with me the Philips um, foldable garment steamer. I'll try to put the exact model number here somewhere on the screen. Um, we're in the bathroom today because we're going to start by filling up the water tank in the back. So to take out the water tank, you literally just pull it off and put this away. You'll see that there is a little um, kind of cover. You can twist that out of the way. Twist that out of the way and then we'll just fill this up. I always like to use um, filtered water for this just because we have hard water in our house. You just fill that up until, well, basically until it starts to spill out. Cover it back up and then you will find that some water will collect in <clears throat> Some water will collect in the sides, just to shake that out, it's fine, it won't damage the machine if there's a little bit of moisture there, so yeah. Okay, so we're at my table now, um, we have sort of a makeshift hanger situation there. Um, and I've plugged in the machine, but I haven't turned it on. So to snap this back in, you just literally push it back in, um, you're going to hear it click and just make sure it's flush. Then here on the front, you will have to turn on the um, on button. Okay, so for the next couple seconds, my brain is going to stop working, but I wanted to keep this entire part uncut because I wanted to show you guys exactly how long it takes for this machine to heat up. It's actually very fast, so um, forgive me for not making sense these next couple of seconds. And you'll see once you turn that on that a light will start to, well, be turned on. <laughs> you'll see on the top that the light will turn on. You'll see on the top that the light will turn on. And basically that means that the machine is now heating up. And I will actually just wait for this part because um, you might be interested in knowing how long it takes to heat up. Very fast, as you can tell. Um, and now we're ready to steam the clothes. Okay, so here we have three different cloths. One is just a plain cotton shirt, a linen dress, and then a thicker, I think also cotton dress, but this is a little bit more like um, as thick as about maybe denim fabric type of dress. Um, and as you can see, they're all very wrinkled. Um, I'm starting with a full tank of uh, water and then at the end I'll show you also like how much is left after doing the three garments <clears throat> um, To start operation as you remember we turned on the on button to make it heat up and now that the light is turned off It means it's ready to use um, And to use it we're just going to hold down this um, steam button the thing with the little steam sign There we go As you can see, the steam is very fine. Even if I'm holding it up directly against the shirt, there are only very few um, water droplets that stay and those evaporate very, very quickly. Be careful when you're using this not to point the steam part downward, tor especially towards your hand that's holding the shirt. Um, my sister and I have burned ourselves quite a few times doing that. Okay, so just to show you what the difference is, 
as you can see, it's not like it's, you know, completely flat and smooth. I think for that kind of uh, crisp press, it's better to still use a traditional um, steam iron with the board, the kind that you actually press down. But for, you know, just t-shirts or maybe garments that are hard to iron for whatever reason, um, as you can see, it got the creases out just fine. And at least I like we would feel pretty comfortable um, just walking out in this. This is a water droplet. <laughs> so there's the comparison for the cotton t-shirt. I'll finish this later, but we'll put it away for now and do the next one. So now we have the linen dress. This is a really good example of something that might be hard to iron, especially around this um, ruching part. You'll see that the red or the orange light might turn on again while you're steaming and that just means that it's heating up more water for you to use but it's fine to, to keep going now sometimes it helps to kind of smooth out the fabric with your hands if you have really stubborn creasing or fabric like linen that loves to keep creases But definitely the steamer helps loosen them up a lot. Like you couldn't smooth that out with your hands if you weren't also doing the steaming. What I'm doing here is just holding down um, the bottom of the dress so that the fabric can be held taut and pressing the seam iron flush to the fabric, almost not necessarily stretching it out, but you know, keeping it very um, high tension so that we can try to smooth out some of those creases while we're steaming. Because linen tends to be a more stubborn fabric. Okay. I think you can see that now. Um, as you can see, the creases aren't completely gone, but if you're comparing to the parts that we didn't steam, it is a lot better, a lot more smooth over here. Okay. Again, we will finish that later, and now we are on to the thick cotton fabric. So this one actually just has um, gotten creases from being in the bag that it came in. So you can do these heavier creases down here, just as an example, you can see. Yeah, I'm doing the same kind of technique where I'm holding down the garment with my left hand as the steamer kind of like presses the fabric flat. Okay, 
Okay. There's a little bit of an imprint there still, but you can smooth that out. As I said, like once while the um, fabric is still warm, you can um, mold it a little bit just from the heat. As you can see, the big crease is now gone. Just to show you guys how much water is left after doing three garments partially, very partially, it's about halfway through. Um, I would say most of it we used up for, I think the linen dress, because again, depending on the fabric you have, um, it might be um, harder to get certain types of creases out um, in certain fabrics. Now that we are done using the machine, you just want to make sure to do a couple of things to prolong the longevity of your machine and to put it away properly. So as you saw, there is still about half of the water tank left. Um, I'm not going to throw out this water because we do use this quite a lot. But if you are not planning to use this again anytime soon, or maybe if you have like really hard water in your house and you don't want to leave it there to calcify, then you can just kind of take this out empty it out into the sink and let it air dry before putting it away. You also want to make sure to turn off the um, toggle switch here at the bottom. Um, this will oops, this will stay a little bit warm um, for I would say like 30 minutes, an hour maybe. Um, just make sure that you turn it off and then leave it somewhere to cool and put it away after that. And that's pretty much going to be it for today's video. Again, if you're looking for something that's going to iron your clothes super, super crisp, this might not be the appliance for you. But if you are looking for something very convenient, um, pretty much does the job, and something you can use for hard to iron clothes, or maybe you wear a lot of casual clothes and they don't need to be pristinely ironed, then I think this is a great buy. We use it a lot for that purpose. Um, and if you're interested in buying this, I will leave a couple of links down in the description box where you can buy it online. Um, just a disclaimer, I do make a very, very small commission on some of the sales if you decide to buy through my links, but it adds no additional cost to you and um, I really appreciate it. It helps support this channel that we're trying to grow. And with that, I will see you guys, I guess, in the next video. Bye!